Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are gonna be organizing. Tyler and I got the bug to get things cleaned out. Like we all have those junk drawers, right? You have a junk drawer, you have a junk closet, you have a basement or a garage that is just full of stuff. It just feels like a heavy burden. Tyler and I decided we were gonna spend a weekend and go tackle two different areas in our house that really was very stressful. One was our coat closet under the stairs and the other was the basement. We have a great basement, half of it is a playroom. The other half has kind of become like this where all the junk goes, we just kind of keep throwing stuff down there and pretending it doesn't exist. And eventually you just have to face the facts and know that you're gonna have to own up to it and you're gonna have to just sort through the stuff, take the time and do it right. I'm gonna teach you five different tips on really how to do this in a way that's efficient, that is gonna help you make this process easier and actually kind of fun. I know we all like watching videos of other people clean, but I'm gonna encourage you to do this with me. So the question of the video today is, what drawer or what area do you need to clean? What is your burdensome corner of your home that you really wanna clean out? Leave your comment below. Make sure you thumbs up this video, and if you haven't subscribed, duh, subscribe. Okay, should we get started? Let's do it. First things first, clean out your space. Tyler and I both kind of teamed up on this part. We love to take the items, get them out of the actual room that we're organizing and just start with a clean slate. It's just really hard to have any sort of clarity in a space when it's full of stuff. So along this process, it will get worse before it gets better. You're gonna make a huge mess by taking everything out, but it's also an incentivization to keep going so you can clean it up and get it back to normal. The second thing I recommend is create piles. As you take stuff out, you have it in a giant pile, start to organize your piles by category. Like for me, I started pulling stuff out and I had camera gear because what we do for a living. I had wrapping paper, I had kid toys, I had dog, uh, fluffy jackets that I have for scalp. Go through those piles and decide what am I gonna keep, what am I going to donate, and what am I gonna throw away? If you are going to donate it, give yourself a deadline or a time of when you're gonna get that stuff out of your house. Because if you just put it there randomly, it'll just sit there and gather dust and now all the junk that was once in a concealed closet is now in an unconcealed space of your home in a corner in a trash bag. And then if it's trash, just be ruthless and throw stuff away. Paint is a part of uh, what we do for a living and I am always renovating and doing things. So I needed all of the paint options from this home from previous owners. They've left a lot of paint from, from rooms that I have done here. I have leftover paint. I needed a way to organize it and I went to our little basement and found that we had like 35 cans of old paint. In this cabinet, I have all of the paint that I have already gone through, believe it or not. So here's an example. This is a container from Brody's room, which we just painted all the trim, but I wrote down Brody's room trim and I put the date on it. There are cans from the previous owner and this is almost 10 years old. When a paint gets over 10 years old, it is bad and no longer usable, just so you know. So most of it that was old, we threw away, but the stuff that was within the last 10 years, we kept, but I like holding on to it because it allows me to know what I need when I need it and I have it nice and neat and organized over here and everything's labeled and marked. So it reminds me that was the white paint that we used in the guest house on the walls and I don't get anything mixed up. So I encourage you to do that and make it work for you. So we have emptied the area the closet or the basement. We have categorized and figured out what the heck is in that room. And before you put it all back, you need to go back into the place that you're working on and you need to wipe it down. You need to vacuum it. You need to pick up the little, like I had all these little beads that fell out in the basement from 4th of July, like tiny little stars. They were all over the floor. So I had to pick them all up. I vacuumed up the dust. I broomed this area. I used a hand vacuum and got all the little nooks and crannies, but get it to a clean slate so that when you bring stuff back in, it doesn't feel dusty and cobwebby and gross or sticky if you're in like a junk drawer. Just get it to a clean place. Number four is to create an infrastructure for organizing. What do I mean by that? If you have three or four empty walls and you don't have any shelves or you don't have any containers or you don't have anything on the walls, you're gonna end up putting stuff back in that room and it's just gonna become a mess again. Everything kind of needs its place and it needs its home. So you have to create the environment for it to have a home. If you don't have the ability to build in shelves, 
You could just go to Target or Walmart and get one of those like plastic containers that has drawers that pull in and out. That's a really great resource. For me, I found these wood cubbies for the basement and it allowed me to have separate containers and like an infrastructure to really organize some of the little different things that I had down in the basement. Okay, so over here, I utilized my Target container. These are from Target. I was telling you guys about them. And I realized that I have a lot of like holiday decor, but I don't have a lot of the smaller holidays. Like for example, Valentine's Day or 4th of July or Thanksgiving. It's not like Christmas where I have a whole shed full of Christmas stuff. But I really wanted to be able to utilize like, oh, I have some of those things for Halloween and I want a space that I can go to the basement and I can pull out the drawer and everything that I could, that I own about Halloween, I can use that for that year. That's what I made this little area for. Valentine's Day, I have these napkins I bought at Home Goods that I thought I would use. I literally bought these like before I got married. One day I'll use them and I keep holding on to them. Does anyone else do that? You're like, oh. I know I'm gonna to wanna to use that one time when I have that random, super unique party that I'll probably never have. But if I do, I'm gonna not wanna spend $3.99 again and have to buy napkins. So I'm just gonna hold on to them for 10 years. Okay. Easter is a fun one, because I have Easter napkins. I have napkins for a lot of these holidays. Then I actually do have a Christmas one, um, but that's only because I had Christmas napkins and I don't wanna put those in the shed. Now you can guess what this one is. This is 4th of July. Um, these are those beads I was telling you about that fell all over the floor. These are not fun to step on. And then of course, all of my fun napkins from last year. Halloween, of course, I have some nice napkins. <laughs> I'm telling you, I have a napkin problem. Every year I'm like, we don't have those kits to do, you know, the pumpkin carving. We need to buy another kit. Now we have three kits. So if anyone needs to carve a pumpkin, you know where to go. Last row is Thanksgiving, which I don't really have that much on Thanksgiving, except napkins. And they're really beautiful too. And then over here, I have all of my decorative bowls, candles, vases, trays, cake platters, things I need for party planning. It's all kind of in this area, chalkboards, things like that. Another thing you can do is using 3M hooks, which I actually used in our closet upstairs. I used 3M hooks and I put those on the walls and I hung all of our little uh, gift bags. I had so many gift bags of all different sizes and I could take those wall, the little hooks off the walls and they wouldn't cause any damage or you could be like Tyler and take a nail and just nail it into the wall. It is more sturdy and that camera bag was pretty heavy, but that is also an option. But you're creating an infrastructure to actually be proactive, to create an organized home for your stuff. And last but not least, you need to make it work for you. This is kind of an obvious tip, but I think it's worth noting. I can't really tell you what to keep. I can't tell you what is a priority in the stuff that you have, but once you find out the items that you want to actually organize, you have to make a mental note of what is the stuff you use all the time. Okay, so here's like a storm shelter. Look, it has like a thing on it. And I'm sure this would be great to come to if there was a big tornado, but you know, my priorities are being shown here. I use it as decor storage. I have frames, I have matches, I have candlesticks, I have artwork, I have dinosaur lamps. Wow, I actually do have these matches I forgot about. Look how cool these are. I need to put these upstairs. By the way, I have a plan for these frames. I might do a DIY. I bought them to do a DIY, but I didn't know where I'd put them. And I really wanna do, I pulled it on Instagram. You guys really need help with large walls, how to do family gallery walls, how to utilize art placement on your walls. And I've been wanting to do a really cool kind of like gallery wall situation up in my staircase area with all these cool frames. If that's something you guys wanna see me do a video on, make sure you leave a comment below. I'm gonna put it on the list and do it in a couple of weeks because I also wanna print out some family photos and have a mix of like black and white family photos with these really cool like old vintage oil paintings and see if that looks good. And we'll find out together. For me in the closet underneath the stairs, the three things I wanted in that closet were the wrapping paper, the uh, coats, it's a coat closet, so I wanted to utilize it for coats, but then also it's our camera storage for what we do for a living, to make videos, and we need to have that easily accessible. The priority there was the all the camera gear. The second thing to me was all the coats, and the last priority to me was all of the bags, because I don't need gift wrap every day of my life, or even weekly, but I do need it throughout the every month. At some point, we have some event, or a birthday, or something. Look at what you got, pick which one gets the best spot in the room, 
and then go down the line from there and make sure the stuff that's hard to get to is stuff you don't eat all the time. And the stuff that's easy to get to is stuff you use all the time. Should I repeat it one more time for the back? <laughs> I think I've said it three times and I think you get it. So we can move on to the next part. Hello, welcome to the, this is like the passageway to the other side of the basement. Come on in. Wonderful fluorescent lighting in here. It's very great for my complexion, I'm sure. But these, this is a little kitchenette. I've got a sink, a fridge, lots of cabinets, but this is where I'm storing all of the things that feel kitcheny to me. So I have a lot of leftover mugs, like disposable coffee mugs, and these are plastic wine cups, hot beverage dispensers, things that are appropriate for a kitchen, silverware, paper plates, things like that that I use for parties. I put it all in here, even pretzels that so should probably be thrown away. This is a trash moment. But then I have lots of other storage. We went and bought these. I don't really need this extra one. I think we bought one too many, but you know, sometimes you just get more stuff and you need a place to put it, so I might keep it, we'll see. But I have my puzzle area. I have a bubble bin and lots of workout stuff that we probably won't be using anytime soon, but I like to think that we will. So I made room for things I wanted to keep and the rest of it I just got rid of, and this is what was left. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully this video was informative. I hope that it encouraged you. I hope that it helped you get up and actually clean out a space in your home because we all have that burden and I, my goal here at Making Videos is to help you guys um, and inspire you to make your homes the best that they can be and the most beautiful that they can be for your family and your friends and whoever. So hopefully this video helped. Leave me your comments below. Don't forget to answer the question of the video thumbs up the video, hit the subscribe button. And if you're not following on Instagram, you should be because we post really great real time life things, whether it's about the kids or just projects. I have you guys vote on things, on different options of, you know, if you think I should, you give me advice basically is what you do. So go over there and help me out. Follow along at Cher Stevens and I will see you guys next time. Oh, by the way, if there's anything in the video that I showed you that I can link, I will try in the description box. So go ahead and check that if you have any questions. And I think that's it. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.